uh, the price has to be below the value before you buy it. You know, the higher the price you pay, the lower the return you're going to receive. And, and everyone's talking about low interest rates now. Everyone's talking about the fact that, you know, that, that we back in 1981, you had half the debt that corporate United States has today. You had stocks trading on a P of seven, uh, and you had this long-run credit fuel growth ahead, as well as productivity improvements. That was a really good time to invest. Now you've got the opposite, and stocks are trading at 18 times. How can that also be an attractive time to invest? So when interest rates are at zero, people talk about something being worth 100 times. That's just what other people are willing to pay. We're not willing to pay that because our first priority is to protect investors' uh, money. And I don't believe historically there's ever been a time where paying 100 times for something's actually worked out. Uh, so we don't. OK, thank you. Paul? The golden rule? Golden rule, one rule. Um, never let the market make you do something you don't want to do. And what I mean by that is... Never let your investment decisions be based on external influences. You've got to back your, you know, obviously you've got to do the work, uh, but you've got to back your own judgments, your own convictions, because the greatest investment opportunities I've found over time at that key point of inflection, as I said before, you know, people were not only questioning you, in some cases they were ridiculing you, you know, throwing the head out of the rotten tomatoes. Uh, and if you react to external influences, you'll walk away right at the time that you have to have your most conviction and what will you know, clearly dictate some really good returns for you. And markets are very, very tough, so you know, when you come across those ideas, you've got to stick with them. OK, Steve, here you go again. Golden rule. rule. Uh, stay within your circle of competence. Uh, you, can, you can break a lot of rules if you're very, very good at a small number of things. You look at Steve Smith playing cricket and he breaks almost every rule of batting that my father would have taught me when I was a kid and he scores a truckload of runs because he knows what he does well and he sticks to it. <laughs>